the dawn has come. The dawn is already here. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. I was having a bit of a rough day today because with all this stuff going around, you've got to keep yourself focused on positivity, right? We got to know that we're coming through this, that we're waking up to a mess that we can clear out. And those of us that are clearing it out are actually doing the work. Of course, there are those of us that are falling back into a state of control and a state of fear and just manifesting more out of that state of illusion. But for those of us that are actually waking up and taking incentive and looking at the problems as they come up and seeing how can I make this better? How can this opportunity allow me to flourish more of as myself? Uh, for those of us that are actually doing that, it is kind of difficult if we're the only ones in our environment that are actually that way. And so today I went on, I'm not going to say any names, but I went on a popular YouTuber's channel because I was kind of feeling the need to get some you know, encouragement and some edification. But this YouTuber, ever since this crisis has shown up, all of their videos have been exemplifying that the control is coming. You know, we can't let fear guide us, especially in times like this. Uh, we got to take the incentive and grow and be strong and hold the vision of the new earth. Even though they're saying that that's not the way it's going to play out, they're still, you know, disseminating this kind of information to the viewers. They keep saying it over and over again. I'm like, guy this is not what i came here for so honestly i was a bit put off by that and this is not cool this is not cool and this is why i'm starting this channel this is why i'm starting to share these things because we can't entertain these what ifs or maybe paradigms we have to just see it from the way we want to see it and just move forward with that we can't hold back we can't you know, say, oh yeah, they're doing this, or 5G is coming, or they want to keep us in quarantine, you know. We can't resort to feeding these stories into the collective anymore, because we already know what the story is. We already know it. I mean, people have been saying this since they wrote the book of Revelation, maybe even before that. So what are we, you know, battling here? Are we battling a new world order? Because the new world order already exists. Are we battling, you know, a cashless society? Because ultimately, a fiat currency is already that. You know, we're already using paper money. It doesn't make any difference whether the fiat currency is digits on a computer or just pieces of paper that have no value. There's no difference here. So we just have to see things from a new perspective, regardless of what they're saying. But you know what? In all this upheaval and turmoil, we're starting to see shadows where we thought there was actually light. I mean, the brighter the light gets, the more intense the shadow gets. But the only reason that's happening is so that we can see the shadow for what it is. I mean, once we see the shadow for what it is, we're not supposed to stay in the shadows. We're supposed to realize that, hey, the light has turned up. We have an opportunity to live in this new world. It's, it's not the same as it used to be. I mean, many people will say like, oh, this whole incident is like 9-11 2.0. But you know what? All it takes is for someone, someone pulling the strings to be exposed. And once everybody knows about it, things things are going to be different. The difference between this and 9-11 is that the mainstream never showed anybody getting exposed. But here we are at the crossroads again, and we are all being fed 
media and news stories and manipulation, you know. But the dawn has come. The dawn is already here. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. And like I said, the great light exposes the shadow, makes the shadow more intense. Let's clear out the shadows. And let's move forward. Let's not say that, yeah, they want to keep us down. They want to keep us under. They want to control us. They want to manipulate us. Who cares? We are the true controllers now. We are the ones stepping up as rulers of this earth. It's a new age. Saturn is entering Aquarius once again. Things are going to shift. This nonsense is over. So, if you found this video helpful, if you found it inspiring, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And leave a comment for other people visiting. Because it helps inspire them and unite us all in this high vibe tribe. Agape, Salam, Namaste. Have an amazing day. See you in the next video, guys.